Hello lovely people, it's your girl Abaya. If you're new to my channel, I say welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning back in. In today's video, I want to show you guys how I detangle my daughter's hair. If you are interested in watching, then stay tuned. But before we go, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Okay, now let's get straight to it. lovely people as you can see I am parting my daughter's hair right now in different sections because it makes it easier for me to wash her hair this little girl has a lot of hair and it's sometimes very <laughs> how do I say it <laughs> it's it's a pain in the bum to wash her hair wash days oh, I usually don't enjoy it wash day on myself talk less of wash day on hair so i have sectioned the hair as you can see the back section whoa the back section of her hair is shorter because i don't really know that that that's partial that portion of the hair the ones that the one that i'm twisting separately is shorter it's the shortest due to breakage from hair rubbing her hair um, from her rubbing her head constantly on the floor on the bed and everything as a toddler as a child And it's now growing back in and catching up with the rest of her hair. So as you can see I've started with One section saturated such a oh, I can't speak <laughs> saturating saturating it with water and then I proceed with applying the shampoo to the sections the shampoo that I use is from Aunt Jackie's Heads Up. And I wash her hair twice. First, I focus on the roots, on the scalp. And then, when I'm done, I focus on the hair itself. I make sure to keep the hair stretched as I'm washing it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling it and constantly keeping it stretched so that it won't tangle up. But the thing with her hair is immediately it touches the water, it starts detangling by itself, even though it's tangled. But once I put the shampoo and I start washing it, it just the tangles just magically disappear. Yeah. So now after shampooing I'm rinsing it out. I'm rinsing out the shampoo. Mm -hmm. And now for deep conditioning, I use the soft and sassy um, deep conditioner for kids also. So what I do is after washing each section, I apply the deep conditioner. I lightly finger detangle the hair and then I proceed to wash in the next section so that whilst I'm washing the other sections the deep conditioner can start working in her hair so by the time I'm done with the section then I go back to the first and rinse it out and detangle so that's what I do for each section Okay, so now I'm done with all the sections. I've washed every section and I have applied the deep conditioner to each section. And now I'm back to the first one, first section, and I'm starting to detangle the hair. My daughter is very, very, very tender headed, so I have to be very careful when detangling her hair. Any little pull, she'll just start to cream. She'll, <laughs> cream. <laughs> she'll just start to scream. So when I'm detangling her hair, I have to, this is the only time I can detangle her hair. When I'm, when we're in the shower, when she's, when, oh, why can't I speak? <sighs> this is the only time I can detangle her hair when we are in the shower and she's just, just, oh gosh. This is the only time I can detangle her hair when we are in the shower and she is distracted um, with the water and the toys. So 
the, um, during this time, I try as much as possible to detangle as thoroughly as possible. And it can take anywhere between um, two to three, yeah, two hours. Just depending on how tangled her hair is, the, t the tangling her hair can take anywhere between two hours. You see that I twist the hair before combing, so it puts less stress on the strand and she would she doesn't feel me pu pulling or combing the hair if I don't do that she will feel everything and she will just start complaining mama it's our mama my hair is our it's painting me mama <laughs> yeah But as you can see, the hair was not really tangled. Like I said, when I applied the shampoo, the shampoo and the water just starts um, detangling her hair when I'm pulling it through, when I'm tangling. So when I'm combing through, I don't have really big knots to come through. I just, usually it's the curls that I comb through to stretch the hair. That's what I noticed. So like now I'm done. And then I just twist up the hair back up into twists so that it's stretched and it will not tangle back up. I'm using the fine tooth, the fine tooth comb to um, get out some tiny particles that get stuck at the ends of her hair. You know the same things I complain that I have in my hair. She also have lint, and I don't get it out with the white tooth comb, so I have to use the small tooth comb to comb it out. This girl has a lot of hair. Can you imagine? Look, look at all this hair <laughs> on this tiny person's head. Oh my days. <laughs> and that section is usually the least tangled I wonder but it's not as tangled as the other section so I just come through once oh, I just come through and then I'm done So as you 
as you can see I alternate between finger detangling and using the comb the same technique that I use on my hair It takes so long but it's worth it because yeah I've managed to grow her hair this long and I'm actually really happy and proud of myself <laughs> if I do say so myself 2000 years later guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video you can kindly leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching. It's your girl Obaya. Bye-bye. Ha, 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 ha,